In this video, we'll uh, use Euler's method to approximate the solution of the differential equation dt dt, the derivative of the temperature with respect to time, equals 50 minus t, where capital T is temperature and lower t is time, with the initial condition t of 0 equals 100. After 1 minute, after 2 minutes, with the step size h equals 0 0.1. So because the step size is 0 0.1, uh, doing this problem manually, it's uh, tedious. It requires a lot of work. So let's do this problem using GeoGebra. We open the GeoGebra page. We go to View. We go to Spreadsheet. And we adjust our window a little bit. Now the problem that we wanted involved lower letter T, capital T, dt, dt. So before we start working on the Euler's method, let's solve the equation using GeoGebra just to have an idea what the solution looks like. So I'm going to write in the input bar at the bottom of the page, solve, and it pops up a list of functions. So I'm going to put solve ODE. The function that we have to solve is dt, dt equals 50 minus t, but because the GeoGebra uses just x and y, our t, capital T, is the uh, dependent variable, so I'm just going to put minus y. And then the initial condition was 0, 100. So if we press enter, we get the solution here on top, 50 e to negative x plus 50, which we are going to learn in the semester how to calculate it ourselves. And if I zoom out, zoom in a little bit, um, or zoom out, um, we can see the graph that we have here. So this is the graph of the solution um, of the equation. Okay, so now let's work on our um, uh, Euler's method. The step size is 0 0.1, so I'm going to put 0 0.1 here. The equation that I want to solve, let me put it here, just to have it, 50 minus capital T, I'm going to open this a little bit bigger. Okay, so now, the initial condition is for T equals 0, capital T is 100. Now, dt dt, it's 50 minus capital T, so it's going to be negative 50. Under here is going to be 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, and so on, which we can input manually, or we can do equals a2, so the previous uh, cell, plus, and I want to add this 0 0.1, but I want to add it to each of them, so I'm going to do... Um, dollar sign e dollar sign one just because it's in uh, this cell e1 and press enter and it's going to produce my next value so if we go like that we want go to go to one minute so we populated this now this value here is going to be given by and i have to put the equal sign all the time we produce that, we want to uh, use a function. So it's going to be uh, b2 plus, so the previous value, and this is done and discussed in class how to do that uh, by hand, but it's b2 plus uh, e2, and again I used the, um, hey, um, I used the dollar sign times so i want the step size which is 0 0.1 multiplied by dt dt which is c2 and that it's all the time uh, changing so b2 plus the step size hey now ah, if you press it shows up plus the step size times C2, enter. Because I was getting an error, I have to go back to this one and put 
equals and I want to do 50 which is um, that's in the problem right 50 minus t but the t is in b2 so I do have to write it as an equation so now this is gonna work out so equals um, b2 plus um, lock the e1 by doing the dollar sign times and then I have to multiply by c2 with changes so that's why and then uh, this value here is going to be again well it's it has a formula so it has we've done it so now if we select this call is this row and we select the whole thing we are calculating what we wanted which means um, t of 1 the temperature after one minute it's 67.43 and it makes sense because the temperature is decreasing with time right now I want to see this on the graph so in order to do that I'm going to select just the first two columns so we select this we press um, right click we go create and we create a polyline and we can see our points here let me just go a little bit zoom in so it's very good approximation of what we were doing but let me show you something that when we actually let me finish this now if I want to do the more than just one uh, minute if I want to compute this for two minutes I'm gonna go further to two and then I'm gonna select this one and pull it down and we found out the temperature after two minutes is 56.08 so again if we select all of them and we press right click create polyline we can see the polyline here again zooming we see what a good approximation it is right so I want you to imagine that even if we didn't know the how to find the solution which we don't know at this step in the course we can still find the a very accurate approximation of what's the temperature after two minutes now the cool thing that I want to show you is when we were locking this step size which is uh, 0 0.1 right when we were doing that I was hoping that um, well the most imp the, the the fun stuff is if I change this to 0 0.25 and you notice I didn't erase it uh, first I just put it over if you erase it the whole thing changes look what happens the time changes now the step size and we calculate for up to five and the the points are here now and we can see that the values that we have are a little bit further away from the original line so that means um, for a 0 0.1 it was a better approximation but we don't have to do the whole thing again just because we wrote in our function we use this dollar sign so if you do that you lock in the value so we can actually do that for um, any value so again I am NOT erasing that I'm just writing over it so 0 0.5 it shows me here again the graph and the approximation again not as accurate as it was for 0 0.1 but just imagine that now you can calculate after 10 minutes but you can calculate for after 10 minutes for 0 0.1 as well um, 
doing this, it's actually just saving you a lot of time um, on doing the problem manually. I do hope it helps. It was fun working on it.